So hello to us. <laughs> anyway, yeah, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. My name is Nikolai. Hi. This is my colleague Tina. Hi. And we are a startup in Taiwan. Yeah. Uh -huh. So sure. we are extremely happy to be there. And we'll just explain a little bit about what we do. Sure. And a challenge that we're facing due to, I think, unforeseen circumstances. Okay, please do. So we are a POS system startup, all based in Taiwan. We are a misfit of a lot of different nationalities uh -huh. that are all connected to Taiwan. I mix Danish Taiwanese. We have a Chilean Taiwanese. We have an Indonesian Taiwanese. We have a Taiwanese Taiwanese. <laughs> but we all come from different backgrounds, and we all come to Taiwan because we love this wonderful island, and we want to make this a better IT nation than it before. Okay. I have an education in engineering in Denmark, worked in the US and in Europe, and I saw a potential in Taiwan that we could become a little better at building IT services. Three years ago, I decided to build a uh, system that could help restaurants, especially small businesses, restaurants, cafes, mm -hmm. bars. Is there a name? It's called Q, Q, Q Technology. Q Technology. Q Technology. Okay. British Q. It's very cute. Okay. And we are, uh, we're happy now to serve around 60 customers around Taiwan. And we have a different approach than a lot of our other competitors. One is that we have to be more affordable than anyone else. We are, I'm proud to say. We need to be running on existing hardware. A lot of our customers, competitors, you will need to buy specific hardware yeah. from Epson or from Stan and Chronic. We want to keep it open so people mm -hmm. can come with their own hardware because we're a software company, not a hardware yeah. company. And unlike any of our competitors, we can run on iOS and we can run on Android. Okay. Phone and tablet. Okay. Meaning we have customers who don't need to invest in any new hardware to start becoming using a POS system. And they can use their phones. They can use the very old Android tablets, which fortunately are abundant. So again, we can save current cost on hardware for new businesses, especially if they want to start up. We are a chat junction, meaning we can issue Jensa Fabia on behalf of our customers, which is a long and interesting process. Yeah, we have to talk more about that if you want any feedback about that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and we're happy that we have a lot of customers who can then cut down on the cost. Uh -huh. That's good for us. We run everything in the cloud, uh -huh. meaning we don't have a lot of server cost compared to if we had to host everything ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And we build a lot of our technology on open source software. Sure, 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 sure. So that's the good part. Which open source software? So our main stack is React Native. Uh -huh. So that makes it easier for us to support Android sure, sure, and iOS. Sure. And we have a mobile first approach, meaning uh -huh. we design everything to work on mobile. Uh -huh. And then we make sure that the tech. So it's not that your software is open source, it's built upon. No, it's built upon okay. open source. Uh, but we, we think in a way, we want everyone with any cell phone mm -hmm. to be able to have a POS system with full full capability, so we don't differentiate if it's in the tab. You can find your product on... on you can find an app store or, or Google, Google Play. Play. Yes. Uh, what, what, how, what, what do I search for? You search for Q, POS, Q, U, Q, U, E, U, E. Yeah, sure. POS. Q technology, C -O -L -C. Yes, that's us. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, please, go ahead. And um, yeah, we serve around 60 customers now. Of course, being a startup, it's tough to approach new customers. Uh, but we, we serve not only the local mom and pop shops in Taiwan, which we're happy about because we have a more affordable price, but we also uh, are pretty strong with the expat community in Taiwan because a lot of people in Taiwan don't speak or at least read Chinese. Mm -hmm. So our interface from the very beginning, also due to my poor Chinese, is most mm -hmm. people. So mm -hmm. on a staff level, individual staff level, you switch between English, Chinese. Mm -hmm. And of course, since we have Spanish speakers in our team, Danish speakers, Indonesian speakers, we want to build this to be able to export to other places around That's the world. Awesome. Because why not? Right? This is only available in the app stores. Mm -hmm. But Taiwan is our base and we are Jazz Junction and we're really excited about that. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's so, great. So that's great. Yeah, so next time people complain about you know uh, not having building board solutions, it's like I can refer them to you they, absolutely. Uh, and, and say why not. Right? Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's okay. a great thing. <laughs> uh, we take, of course, and we, we we care about the community. We take in interns from the universities to help out if they want to learn a little bit about coding uh, and TypeScript and in React Native, and uh, they seem to be excited about that. Uh, we build everything. We design and build everything in Taiwan. We have support in Taiwan. Everything is running in Taiwan. We're a very small team. We're fully bootstrapped, meaning we haven't taken in, taken in any external funding, no government grants, no nothing. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and now, of course, um, I guess we should get to the part where this becomes a challenge. So, so, so the, uh, the, the chair, uh, Xu Zi, and mm-hmm. that's you? That's me. Uh, that's yes. you. No, that's uh, me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's my Chinese name. Uh, so my father is Taiwanese and uh, my father is Danish. Okay, okay. And so. the, and, and the uh, oversight, uh, Zhong Zhi Xi, uh, is uh, representing another company, uh, Ali Yao or something. Yeah. yeah, so I was just looking at your Dong Jian Shi Ming. Oh, Alio, yes. Alio. Yeah. So Alio yeah. is my good friend and partner uh-huh. who has a 50% stake in the company. Okay, so it's just two of you. Yes, uh-huh. exactly. Awesome. <laughs> so that's where we are. Alio is building, by the way, a really nice coffee roaster. So you're living to the Michigan office space as well. So come by and have a coffee. And that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. really nice. Awesome. Okay. So how can I help? Yes. So we, in the last couple of months, have been approaching new customers. We know it's a difficult time for everyone, and our customers, of course, are struggling as well. Yeah. And new customers are the first thing they love our product, which is good, and we're more affordable than all our competitors, which is also good. But they bring up a very important point, and then they ask us, "Do are we? Uh, do we apply? Do we qualify for the subsidy ah. for digital transformation?" transformation. Uh-huh. And then Tina can go into more details, but uh-huh. what we think is a bit inside of course, Tina. Uh, we think it's a bit unfair, um, but yeah, we will just. You're too new. You're too new. They're, they're looking for companies with more than three years history, sure. and it will not be until June do you actually have a three-year history. <laughs> Correct. That's one thing. Yeah. That's one step. Yeah. Uh, it's really that? In uh, I, I don't see that clause, uh, Dan Shu. Uh, uh, when, when, when I look at the uh, it looks like Shirley Dan Shu in Chinese. Because it's <笑>就是你可以附要件说我现在没有看到单数但是他的营业他的那个出资的单数是在申请书里面有单数还是在申请书里面有单数还是在申请书里面有单数还是在申请书里面有单数还是在申请书里面有单数还是在申请书里面有
Well, you know, if, you, if you you know offer your uh, your equity by technology or by by labor, mm -hmm. which are all allowed in the company act, mm -hmm. you can, because it, it doesn't actually say that you have to uh, do a shishou right? It could be chu zi, so which is easier. Uh, but 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 anyway, we cheated a little bit before we came here because we wanted to be absolutely sure. So we actually did try and fill in the application to stop to uh, mm -hmm. to. Uh, qualified for the subsidy okay. because we wanted to come here and know that yeah. it was not possible. Okay, okay. Even though we didn't, we didn't feel we, we qualified, yeah. and we did get rejected. Okay. Yeah, and it's um, well, it's not under your two new grants. It's under uh, the other grants, right? Well, what were you were it's it's so both. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, if they so so, I, I really don't see a, a exception clause on Shili Das and Shang anywhere on the website. So it has to be internal rule or something. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but in any case, um, in due time, like in two months, it will be Shili Das and Shang. Like that, that's automatically um, solved for you. Right. right. But we so, could not see that this would happen again because we fully support. Mm -hmm. That we want to be able to help with digital transformation. Mm -hmm. sure, sure, sure. We want to make sure when the old five pound machines, uh, which has should have been phased out for a couple of years now, when they are fully uh, expires, we want to be able to, for everyone to give out five pound just yeah. using their phones. Sure, 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 sure. Um, but of course, until then, we still need to be able to at least compete in a in a meaningful way. And just now, it's hard for us to explain that we don't qualify, and that people can get it for free with government mm -hmm. subsidies. Uh -huh. uh, with a bigger, much more established competitor. Right, right, right. But I mean, there's nowhere in the Yao Dian that says that there's only one uh, call for providers, right? Um, it all it says is that uh, within the Shoulin uh, Qi Jian, within the, the um, reception, uh, the, the call for proposal uh, time um, that uh, you can you can apply. Uh, but I mean, um, what what you're probably trying to to get to is that by the time that you're like forty three years old, mm -hmm. like in two months time, mm -hmm. uh, or or afterwards, right, right like uh, in three months time or something, if there is another window of Sholi season, then right. that, then that makes life easier for you because you, you don't have to uh, say extra things about your Chen Li Qi Jian, and then and then you can probably uh, try to get uh, five million and dollars uh, if you have three or four months time. I mean, we could. We just feel it's unnecessary because well, it's, 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 it's pretty arbitrary. Uh, I, I I fully concur. It's pretty right. arbitrary. But if they say if I wish you one, that's fully arbitrary. Too. No, no, of course. Of course. <laughs> right. no. If I can be absolutely honest with you, I would prefer that there was no subsidy. Sure, sure, sure. Of course, right? Because then at least we, everything would be fair, and we could just offer what we think is a better product. That's right. That's, right. that's not the case right now. Uh -huh. The problem is a lot of companies, not just us, uh -huh. would be in the same situation. Where uh -huh. just because we are younger, uh -huh. we happen to be bootstrapped, yeah. we cannot compete with the bigger established companies that have yeah, been yeah. around for but, but, but I'll be honest with you too. Uh, I mean, uh, this idea of uh, three year uh, mm -hmm. plans, basically, uh, there will be some service providers that uh, turns out to be not a perfect fit mm -hmm. for, for this plan right. uh, for various reasons that you cited. Of course. Right. So uh, what's important is that there is a kind of mechanism to review the mm -hmm. service providers. If uh, most of the matchmaking turns out to be not a good fit, uh, then maybe we look at the service providers and say, you know, these are not the, the best fit after all. Right. right. So, so, so all this is actually uh, within the, the Yao Dian. Right, so so it, it says that for example, um, uh, so so basically on how it actually goes about um, if there's a lot of shops that actually stops using this digital provider, uh, then maybe the provider mm -hmm. uh, will be limited. Right, maybe, like you sign right. up for five, right. uh, and all five don't like you. Right. Uh, then maybe we cap you at five, right, right, and you right. can't get the six anymore. Right. <laughs> right. So, so that that's well within the audience. So, so and that means that uh, there's plenty of room then when something like that happens for new providers to 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 enter this program uh, because well there's still a vacuum out there uh, and it's a three year plan, right? So there, I think there is plenty of chance uh, in in three months time or in six months time uh, if there's certain post solutions that turn out not to be a perfect fit, mm -hmm. even with the subsidy, uh, for for them to re accept something uh, like you. Uh, and, and I mean, that's that's just how the program is written. 
Yeah. All we are asking is yeah. just to hear us out because we yeah. feel that there is a disconnect between what we want Simon to be, mm-hmm. where you can be more smaller and more nimble and build what we think is better products. Um, where we just happen to not have been around for three years. That will happen two years. It could have been a new company come out two months from now, mm-hmm. and they will still be struggling mm-hmm. because no, I, I totally it's, it's a challenge. I totally agree, and, and I'm, I'm not saying that we're kind of pushing you to have to work with one of the qualified providers mm-hmm. to be kind of the second level contractor. Right. That. I'm not saying that. No, no, no. I, I'm saying that there's some providers that's bound to be um, a, a niche uh, and doesn't quite fit the original skill. Of this program, at which time this program will probably call for another round mm-hmm. of providers. Right, and if that happened, we would just like to try and figure out if there a way mm-hmm. a company like us, who spent so many thousands of hours yeah. integrating with becoming a chat junction, mm-hmm. running turnkey on virtual servers sure, all over sure. the world, that maybe some of these qualities can also help qualify for the subsidy. Because mm-hmm. the reason we can provide such an affordable solution. Is that we upload a five apps ourselves. I know, I know. So, and that just makes it a little easier for for our customers. That there's a lot of things that don't they don't have to do. Our main competitors don't utilize the full turnkey functionality. Mm-hmm. They don't automatically download mm-hmm. the invoice numbers and combine the five app numbers like we do. So we build all these things around. Maybe that could count for something when you decide what companies would you like to work with for this subsidy plan. That's all we ask for. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and then that's it. Uh, I'm totally with it. I, mean, I, mean, I, yeah. I think it sounds fair, and I'm sure it all does. But of course, that's what we just want to bring it up. Yeah, sure, sure, we're sure. just a very specific edge case, and our competitors, competitors are extremely uh, established. And the whole reason why we built something like this was that there was a lot of concerns with the people we spoke to that they don't feel that this particular, the main competitors here in Taiwan, are as nimble and agile as they should be. They're kind of established, and they're the default go to solution. I should. Um, there's no reason we cannot name any names here. Um, who used to be part of a government grant for startup, I believe, um, in Taiwan. And they're doing wonderful work, but they are just becoming a default solution that hurts innovation for companies like us because we try and build something that is more affordable and what we think technology more. Uh, more no, I'm well aware of that. I'm well aware of that. So I, I just look at the, the detail, mm-hmm. and they say that even if they qualify, for this round, they're only qualified uh, for for the year, mm-hmm. right? So so it's not a three year qualifier, right? right. So so it, it, it implies the next year they will have to put another couple of providers, right? Uh, because otherwise they, they wouldn't have to say that uh, you know you're only qualified for a year, right? Right. So so basically um, the idea is that uh, they will let it run for let's say from April to end of the year mm-hmm. and see how that performs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure that uh, by the end of the year, they will have another call for providers mm-hmm. uh, and which will run again for five months. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, uh, of course, we are on the record. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can ask uh, our colleagues uh, mm-hmm. from MOEA uh, to, to review your case. Mm-hmm. And you can actually, because there's a YouTube link, mm-hmm. right? you can send it to oh, whomever. To, to oh, great. Right. 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 <laughs> We just, but that means for the next five months, not only do we have to deal with our regular challenges, which is hard, of course, with the circumstances, but we also have to, every customer who asks us, do we qualify? Mm -hmm. And we have to say no. Of course, they're gonna, they're gonna look into what companies can they, uh, can support them. Which will they will basically get for free? No, but, but so that's our challenge. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. But, but but you can also say that uh, you know um, if you want to transform your workflow, mm-hmm. it's okay to start with a competitor, mm-hmm. and and then you can probably see when you get qualified next year, early next year, um, like how much better that they would. And I don't disagree and, with you. Right. And that's what we do. We yeah. take off a lot of customers yeah. from our main competitors, yeah. and they fortunately stay with us because we have a better product. That's right. But and they, they, the switching yeah. cost is high I for know, a restaurant and a cafe. I know, I know. So as soon as you are locked into one platform, it takes a lot of time and money. So we have to approach them again and say, well, you don't get the qualifying grant. You don't get, you, you're years up now when you were funded by an external source. 
now you have to spend more time and energy transforming yeah, trust. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just a no, challenge. I, 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 yeah, sure. And then when I was running Sarna, I've been there. So, so I, I'm <laughs> I you know what you. I'm talking. About. I, I'm fully with you. Uh, and and I, I'm uh, more more than that because all my solutions were itself open source. Right. So there's nothing preventing my competitor to take that. Right. Is there a flagship feature? So right. I mean, a more even more challenging place. Uh, but but uh, I respect yeah. that. I too. I really yeah, do. But 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 the point. But the point I, I'm, I'm making is that uh, there's, so there's two different costs here, right? Uh, if they um, adopt a vendor that is mm -hmm. a competitor to you, that has mm -hmm. some sort of vendor login, mm -hmm. um, still that vendor kind of absorbs training costs for you, uh, in, in a sense, in a sense, because they will have to absorb the digital transformation and other and things like that. But to, to uh, work around the vendor login, uh, of course, the main technical challenge is the migration path. Mm, uh, right. and, and if you have a good migration path, then basically you can just very easily funnel mm -hmm. people uh, to your, your better solution. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a migration path, then of course you're in a very bad uh, right. position. So what I would recommend in that situation is yeah. that if you provide government funding mm -hmm. for it people to, to use your exactly, exactly, it needs mm -hmm. to be exportable. Mm -hmm. Because right now we cannot export all our data is exportable mm -hmm. in CSV files. Mm -hmm. All our historical data, mm -hmm. all our mm -hmm. internal settings data, everything. Because it makes it easier for us. Everything runs in a NoSQL database anyways. Mm. We don't hide anything. People can export whatever they want. Mm. We can not say kind of data portability. Exactly. Right? Uh -huh. So that would be interesting if you say, okay, if there's government money involved, mm -hmm. then you have to guarantee that after a year. At least at, at the end of the year. At the end of the you year. You have to provide a comma export format. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. So we can try to, because the same, a very specific case would be at Gen Five Health. Yeah, sure. We are just Junction. We take over a customer from another just Junction, mm -hmm. and they want to avoid an invoice that was issued by them. For real. So okay. all of a sudden, we don't have access to the core data of that invoice, so we cannot actually not avoid it because we have to send a C O five or one signal XML file that contains information that's only available with the old invoice. Uh, sorry, the old just Junction. That information is not even exportable from the e invoice platform. So when we take over a new customer, we don't have that information to be able to void custom void orders that was that were issued by a previous just function. Okay, so <coughs> I, I do see uh, that uh, export service mm -hmm. being one of the requirements, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say anything about exporting in an open format or right. uh, exporting in a comma format, right, right. <coughs> which is going to be very much not useful for you. If they, they export it as a, you know, um, a own binary, <laughs> exactly. <right. laughs> um, and of course, if, and even then, I mean, we could spend time and, I mean, <coughs> all time engineering on uh, their, their format, exactly. but, but it doesn't work. It no, doesn't of work. course. Yeah, so, so um, I think you're making an excellent point in saying that even though they're all proprietary solutions, mm -hmm. by the end of the year, and they say that they offer export. Uh, functions, uh, but the export functions need to be on the open format right. and hopefully a, a uh, standardized right. format. Well, that would uh, but at least a open format that is uh, licensable via fair uh, yeah. instructions, and and then uh, basically that, that that will then be a fair deal to right. you. Yeah. Right. Okay, that, that that I can do. So okay. so um, I'll what I'll do is that ST uh, my colleague uh, will uh, contact the. Uh, the office for mm -hmm. Shui Zhuang Bu Zhu Fang An, uh, which is part of Hong Yuan anyway, um, at, at SBLPO service, mm -hmm. uh, and and ask whether it's possible mm -hmm. that uh, at the end of the review term, because mm -hmm. they do hold the right to uh, whether you um, as a provider gets recommended for the next year mm -hmm. or not, mm -hmm. and whether it's possible to put in as a criteria that your export service need to be mm -hmm. a open fair format. Right. Uh, right. and, and if you don't, then maybe we by default don't renew you. Right. Um, and, and that will put a lot of incentive for the current generation of uh, qualified uh, teams right. to provide a safe migration path. And it's not only for you, it's also between them. Of course. Right? So, of course. So, so I think that's a very fair position mm -hmm. and, and ST will um, see to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's definitely mm -hmm. important. The second one would be mm -hmm. if, if there's anything we can, just so we have a sense of for the next period, if there could be other criteria mm -hmm. other than the monetary five million, uh, five million. I think they'll, they'll add more criteria. They may relax some of the. Criteria. No, or just maybe there could be a way where we say, okay, if we don't hit the five million criteria, mm -hmm. maybe we can value something else mm -hmm. that we put some sort of monetary mm -hmm. uh, value on, because it's hard to qualify how much 
time me and my colleagues have spent on this. And of course, that's not any money. That's not five million. But you can yeah. do a you can do a long yeah. yeah. What's that? Long uh, Equity by labor. Can we do that for for your own company? Because you that account share share holders, right. right? So you can you can allow to pay a little bit of tax mm-hmm. because uh, on paper right. you you all gained like triple your your share. Right. So so of course you still have to pay some tax for that, but but you don't have to put in actual money for that. Okay. You can just say our time is worth this many shares, mm-hmm. and and then just start printing shares for yourself. Uh, there's some tax involved, but, mm-hmm. but uh, it's fully uh, um, kosher uh, okay. by the Taiwanese company law. Okay. Are you aware of this? Um, we talk to the yeah, you, you have to 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 look at Lao Wuchu. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we just feel that I understand there has to be a limit. We don't want to. You and I don't want to go start a company just to apply for subsidies. Of I course. Know, I know. Um, so we just wanted to raise our concern and then yeah, make yeah. it so that we don't lock in customers. With particular yeah, I think business. fairness, interoperability, right. the, these two are very important criteria, and, and we'll see what we can do. That would be awesome. <clears throat> Great. Thank you. Anything else, Anna? No. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for your time. Thank Much you. appreciated. Yes. This is always fun. Uh-huh. And if we can get a YouTube link. Yeah, of course. I'll, uh, I'll send it to you uh, before the end of the day. Like, like. Okay. No rush. All yes. right, thank you so Bye. much.